And you took Steve Miller to Tootsie's, if I remember. I did, you and dog, he loved it. Man, I, what did he say when he walked in? There? He absolutely loved it. We did a segment of the Crossroads thing with, with uh, on, on the CMT, and, and uh, we played, and literally his bus is parked in the alley, and Elvis Costello walked up on the bus randomly. So here we are. Wow. Uh, here I am with Steve and Elvis Costello, <laughs> and we were we were late getting to Tootsie's because Elvis wanted to, you know, chat for a little bit. Mm -hmm. And uh, Steve tried to get Elvis to come in there with us, and he wouldn't do it, mm. you know, which would have been fun. But yeah. but he absolutely loved it, man. Uh, he, that's cool. We, we were in that, stood in that small stage in the corner and played at Tootsie's, and we did Living in Fast Forward. We didn't Rockin' Me Baby. <laughs> we did Young, and we did cool. The Joker. and Cat can play, man. Yeah, still. I mean, oh, it's just... Yeah. But to have... To have that soundtrack of some people call me the space cowboy, you hear that you hear that song in any bar, you walk down this town or in Key West, Florida, or anywhere where there's a lot of bars and people are playing guitar and there's live music, you're gonna hear The Joker by Steve Miller at least once in every mm -hmm. single bar. I've played yeah. it, I know I've, I sat on a stool for years in college, and I played it at least two times a night. It's a, it's a, it's a always winner. And right. to hear his voice sing it is one yeah. of the biggest thrills in the world. Before I let you out of here, um, you've been in my thoughts. I don't know if your numbers changed, but I I did send you a text, and I figured it probably you has were changed. Getting, I figured you yeah. were getting a million of them. Yeah, I have it on. <clears throat> on it's like under my fourth Kenny. It's Kenny New. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Kenny New number one. Kenny New number Kenny two. Kenny New number ten. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but but anyway, just letting you know, uh, I figured you were getting pounded anyway about how I was thinking about you when this storm came through. So how are things it's been, now? It, Kicks, it's been uh, a really tough month and a half, I, I'll I tell you. I can't imagine, I mean, man. E emotionally, f for me, it's, as you know, that area is really, I'm really close to that area and the people there. And it's been a huge part of my life, a huge part of my creative life. Um, it was, it, to, to see that happen to a place where it's literally crippled in, a, in about an eight hour period is, it, it was, is really tough. I flew down there and um, I got in a helicopter and I had asked them to take the sides off so I could get my camera with a long lens. And we flew all around the BVI. We flew all over St. John and the Virgin Islands. And, and there's really, I, I, I think that it was, uh, there's this anxiety that people are living on. You know, when something like that, that drastic happens in anyone's life, there's this level of anxiety that you live in. And then when that subsides is where you start living in reality. And I think now this reality is setting in and, and people are realizing just how much everyone's life has changed and how mm -hmm. displaced people are and, and what it's really going to take to get it back. And, and it's... You know, rebuilding down there is, is going to be measured in years, not in mm -hmm. days, not in months. It's going to be measured in years. And and it's been such a huge part of my life, and, and I'm doing everything I can to stop the bleeding, along with Michael Bloomberg and Tim Duncan and a lot of people that are a lot smarter than me, I tell you. But I have been blessed with a voice and a platform, and that's why we started the Love for Love City Foundation. And anything, Kicks, that you can imagine that you need in your daily life— mm -hmm they need batteries toothbrushes diapers water dog food you name it yeah they need it and so it's been um we've 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 been helping all we can you know and, and it's uh i think that my team down there is doing a great job along with tim duncan's team and michael bloomberg's team and and but the but the in fema is 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 now doing a really great job, but when you're in a private sector, you can go. You, you don't have to wait for approval, right? And so we were able to get in there pretty quick with 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 a lot of supplies and and um, more importantly, get people off the island. Mm -hmm. And um, that. What was, about your place? How do you how do you personally yeah. regroup back into your zone? I, uh, well, it's going to be years before that happens, you know. But what what really has changed is the people because. That there's businesses down there that when you you know when you you know how it is when you live in the islands there's a certain businesses run the whole thing it's the restaurant business the bar business the boat bills the boat business mm -hmm. and the hotel business 
And everybody that gets a job down there works in one of those four businesses. Mm -hmm. Or you're a builder who's going to be really busy now. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but that's going to flourish. But those other businesses don't exist anymore yet now. So, and I was friends with a lot of people mm. in all those businesses. So we'll see, you know, a couple of years changes a lot of people's lives. And next thing you know, it's not the same. Yeah. I'll rebuild something one day. Mm. I, it's such a part of my life and it's been such a source of creative inspiration for me and just a, a, a source of, of escapism for me yeah. from the grind of the road. Uh, someday I'll, I, I will, but right now, I mean, we're trying to get everybody we can off that needs to get off with medical emergencies mm. or women that are pregnant. Uh, this week, you know, the, the, our focus has been on the animal shelter down there. We, mm. we, we've, so we've flown almost 60 dogs and cats <laughs> off that island, you know, that it, to non-kill shelters here, uh -huh. to, to non-kill shelters here. Uh -huh. And so we're just doing, every, you know, everything we possibly can to immediately help because it's going to be, a, a, it's going to be a, a, a struggle and an uphill battle to get that place back, but it will eventually one day. It's like anything else. It's like, it's like working your way into the music business. Yeah. You don't know every single day that you, the, the little small things you do, and next thing you know, you have a publishing deal. Yeah. You know, so it's going to be that kind of thing. It's a, a, but it's thanks for asking because it's a really important part of my life. I've, as you know, I've written a lot of songs and recorded yeah. several albums about my experience there, and and I think that that. The one thing that I know there is the people, my friends, and the people that have lived there, and that's all they've ever had, they're very resilient people and very strong and very spiritual. And they're just going through a really messed up time yeah. right now. It just, but it does show you how quickly things in life can change. Yeah, a lot of water, too. I mean, from Houston to Puerto Rico well, now. Yeah, everything. The whole yeah, thing. Florida Keys. And you, and I mean, you lost your place here from the river yeah. flood. <laughs> now, now, now you're saying John's place yeah. gets you feel like somebody's picking on you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be here paying for our sins, kick. <laughs> we'll do better. We'll try and do better. Okay, okay. <laughs> love you, buddy. Thanks for coming back. Thanks for having me. I Good love to you. see you.